talk about how deep you guys are, and um, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of drop off at all when when the reserves come in, come into the game. Uh, not at all. You know, with players like you know Dante's on my right and Trayvon's on my left, and Sarah coming off the bench, it's like having starters already there coming off the bench and being able to buy either scoring punch or great defense in Spurs. You know, it's really beneficial for us to have these players on our team and have the capability to play deep like we can. So you know, we just gotta keep on pushing on and continue on what we're doing. Do you think that sets you apart? Is I mean, do you think that's unique for for a lot of teams? The a lot of teams in the country don't you know go ten or eleven deep like you guys and you know have that many weapons off the ball. Yeah, I definitely think it's unique and it's definitely special because of the fact that we have guys that come off the bench that have experience, have game experience. You know, the three people I named right there, and along with uh, Lamar Patterson and JJ Moore and JJ Richardson coming off the bench, we just. It's beneficial for us to have people who had experience from past years and, and prior games this season. So I think they can only continue to grow and get better. You guys are having a lot of success on the, you know, tonight, 15-6 uh, to 6 on offensive rebounds. What's been the key to, to being successful in the offensive board so far this year? Um, just being consistent in what we do. You know, We practice it day in and day out, just crashing and making sure that we take it down as a mental note that we never take a day off or take a play off. And as long as we keep that in mind, I think we'll continue to dominate on the boards like we have. Well, Taylor, you're having some success in the area as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, coaches tell us, you know, when we and our bees and stuff, just rebound and rebound, you know, be consistent. You know, as a team, you know, we send four, four to the class. So we just all try to, you know, bring that every day. Dante, inside scoring for this team has been a little bit of a question mark early in the season. It has been a lot of double figure games by yourself or Gary or, or many other guys in the front court. Um, do you guys need to step up and, and start scoring a little bit more like the way you did today? I mean, I, I think we, you know, with the scoring, you know, it's going to come. You know, we just got to kind of come every game, you know, play play hard and stuff like that. I mean, the guys on the perimeter is doing a good job. So we just got to come every game, you know, if you have a bad game this game or the next game, you just got to bring, bring in the next. You got to try not to focus on it, you know, like, let it carry over to the next game throw bad shots, to take force, force turnovers and stuff like that. Trey, Trey, you had six assists and only one turnover. Uh, you talk about maybe you think you're playing a little bit more patiently than you did earlier in your career? Uh, I'm playing a lot more mature, I think. You know, uh, you know me and Dad, Gil joke around all the time. You know, we always talk about the scare money we're making. You know, and that's, that's, we, we talk about throwing boots and things like that. So I'm just trying to take what the defense give me and, and take the open play. You know, if they give me over the uh, drive, take it. You know, if a guy open, make a simple pass and, and don't look for his protector. Like, sometimes, you know, if you get a hockey or something, pass from one guy, he make it to the next guy. So, it's like that. You guys went up 36-18, uh, 3.5 seconds left, and you call it a timeout. What was the purpose of that timeout? Was that to set up the press to take advantage of maybe working on something like that in a situation? Or? Um, basically, we just didn't want to um, give them an opportunity to score at the end of the half. You know, just with any type of momentum swing that could happen during the game. Like, we were trying to just prevent that. And basically, coach was just telling us the funnel and stay in the gaps to prevent them from getting any long passes and tries to open up a, sh a shot, shot attempt.